so fiverr disabled my account of over two years at level two with over 120 reviews because of this one simple thing hey everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so i recently received a message from fiverr which read hi innocent your account was flagged for trying to conduct business outside of our platform we consider this a violation of our terms of service and our policies as a result your fiverr account was permanently disabled due to your account being disabled you cannot log in or withdraw any funds you may have if you have any funds available for withdrawal 90 days from now you get an email with instructions explaining how to withdraw now this is the email that i received from fiverr a platform that i've been working as a seller for the past two years so i reach out to the fiverr support which somebody replied that because i've violated the terms and the terms of service they are no more going to restore my accounts back and that means that my account is permanently disabled now the very dark side of this whole thing is that i cannot create any account on fiverr again with details of myself so that at least people will get to know that it is the same person whose account was disabled unlike other platforms like facebook twitter instagram youtube that even if your account is temporary or permanently banned you can create another account with the same details sort of a change in name and people will get to know that it is you this is not the case in fiverr so i'm not going to be able to create any account under the name say innocent again i mean which platform does that now the whole thing that led to this situation is quite very funny to me because a client chats me up saying that he wants a design let's assume that the client we discuss budget x that is what the client is supposed to pay now this client on that is his first time on fiverr so he proceeds to go and pay or make the payment and upon reaching the payment page fiverr adds two dollars more to the budget that we discussed now this client who doesn't understand how fiverr works comes back to the seller to ask why fiverr would add two more dollars to the payment that he's supposed to make me as the seller trying to explain things to my buyer who is his first time tries to explain that fiverr adds a service fee and that is why he sees two more dollars added to his account or the budget that he's supposed to pay this client who is on a very tight budget decides that he can't make or he can't meet that fiverr service fee so he continues to ask whether or not there's going to be another option and then i reply that there is not going to be any other option especially on fiverr now had it been that it is on paypal underline the word paypal had it been that it is on paypal probably we would have been able to do something about it now understand that i've been on fiverr for like more than two years i actually started working there the last two years so i understand that fiverr does not allow sellers to make mention of any third party service for instance paypal gmail or exchange of contacts you are not allowed to do that so when i was writing the paypal i didn't actually write this paypal i instead wrote paypal like this now fiverr will flag any sort of message that they don't want you to send to the buyer but then what i don't understand is why are we dealing with two parties a seller and then a buyer and then the buyer is giving the opportunity to sort of make mention of anything like a website make mention of anything like gmail paypal anything at all a buyer can even send you a website for you to go and look at before you make the design or whatsoever that you want to do for them but then the seller cannot make any such comment or message like why should it be so again it is their platform and they decide what to do when it sends such messages from your desktop or your laptop fiverr will flag it indicating that you are going to get banned 
but it was quite unfortunate that i sent this sort of paypal which was not the actual paypal but this paypal through the mobile phone so i wouldn't know whether or not it got flagged with that red line or not the next thing that i received is the email nothing like a warning whatsoever but a straight email indicating that i am sending the client away from fiverr now if you are following the story carefully you realize that it wasn't a suggestion that the client should go and pay on paypal i was just telling him that had it been on paypal probably it would have worked but since we are here on fiverr that is how the system works and ladies and gentlemen that is how my fiverr account got disabled permanently now what baffles my mind here is that what if every platform decides to ban people for mentioning third-party platforms for instance what if facebook decides to ban everybody for posting their youtube links because people will be directing people outside of that platform fiverr is one place that appreciates people for bringing others onto the platform but these are the same people that are frowning on people for sending people out of their platform so the question is what if every platform decides to ban people for introducing others on the platform to a third party platform basically we are not going to have any sort of platform so i think it's a very high time i can't think for them so what next creators like roberto blakes and then other people who talk about owning your audience and obviously on these platforms like fiverr or any other freelance platform or any other social media platform you don't own the audience actually you are just managing the audience so i think it's high time creators like us or if you're a graphic designer you put it at the back of your mind that if you are working on a fiverr platform or any other freelance platform you don't put all your eggs in that particular basket you don't generally depend so much on them because anything like this can happen to you at any point in time when i posted this message that fiverr has deleted or disabled my account i've received several messages of, from people whose account has also been taken away from them including others from different platforms or different freelance platforms so as a creator what you have to do is you need to get a platform that you are going to own your audience and as explained by roberto blakes and the likes of satori graphics the best way is to get a website that is going to hold your portfolio and then you can direct people to them make use of email list keep an email list of people actually clients that you're going to because a platform like fiverr will not allow you to exchange contacts and that means that if you work for a client and they don't find your ways and means to contact the person outside of the platform the client remains over there and in case your account is disabled like mine that means you lose the client forever so the next thing is i'm going to set up my website i've been so much sleeping on it roberto blakes and the likes have been talking about this for a very long time but i was paying deaf ears to it but when this happened i think it's a reminder that i should own my audience so i'm going to be launching my website very soon and if you are a creator out there who works on any of these platforms you should take that into consideration as well nonetheless if you are just starting out as a graphic designer i think these platforms are a very great place to find your first few clients or actually make contact because it is quite very difficult if you are starting out and you have no connection you have no source of traffic that pulls people to your website i think it is a great way to start from these platforms but you don't put all your eggs in one basket so the next question is should you trust these platforms well i wouldn't say you shouldn't trust them because like i just said earlier it is a great way to start off especially if you don't have any background but then you have to be extra careful how you thread on these platforms especially fiverr because most of these platforms honestly don't care about you they care about the buyers because they feel like the buyers are bringing in the money and the buyers are making 
the payments most of it so they are more considerate they are more thinking about how to please the buyers and not thinking about the sellers the one providing the value they don't think about them so if you are on any of these platforms this should serve as a lesson to you because it has taught me a lot an account that i've used over two years to build with all these reviews and reputation and everything just went down just by saying a single word like paypal so if you are a creator this i hope this serves as a lesson to you and i hope you put in measures and ways to actually own your audience and not depend so much on these third party platforms like fiverr and then the rest but nonetheless this is not going to stop us from pursuing the freelance journey we're going to give our shot to other platforms i recently got my upwork account approved so i'm just migrating to upwork and i'm going to see how upwork also works so if you have any tips and strategies or if you've been using upwork for quite a while leave the tips in the comment section will be so very helpful and if anything like this has ever happened to you that you're on a platform and then you got banned without even understanding it share your story in the comment section as other creators would definitely benefit from it so yeah basically that's it that's everything that happened I hope you've learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to leave a like on this video so that others will get to know this and then be very careful how they work with these platforms thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye